So I was born and bred in the Eastern Cape, like in a place, Kungilemstown, just a little place called Pagamisa, right? It's a township. The young Sibu Siso was very passionate about anything that had reading. I loved to read newspapers, I loved to watch TV, I loved to watch, I loved to play games, video games, right? From a home perspective, it was never easy, raised by a single mom. And at that time, there was like um, four of us, right? So she was doing each and everything that she can to make sure that we go to bed on full stomach, right? Even though that was not the case sometimes. When she's not there, I was like forced to take the role of trying to take care of the children, right? And I was trying to make sure, I was trying to juggle between school, home, play, right? Because I was also like a child, I also wanted to play, right? But we managed to make sure that we all just like move forward, right? So and then like, that's how I grew up, growing up and excelling at school. That didn't like stop me from loving school. Um, and then like in 2010, I moved from the Eastern Cape to Cape Town to kind of live with my uncle, right? Yeah, I thought like Cape Town life was gonna be easy because Cape Town is much different from the Eastern Cape. So I kind of like left my mom there with the children. But then she also like left the children who to live with other family members. She left for Pretoria, right? And then all of, all of a sudden in 2013, I heard she passed away from natural causes, right? She was sick and then she passed away. And then like that was very, very hard. I don't even want to think about 2017 because like that was not me, right? So I kind of like realized, you know, my life is stuck here until after I'm not doing anything. I know I have, I know the amount of potential that I possess. I know the amount of drive that I have within me. So you know what? I don't want to stay in this neighborhood. So I just like hook up my brother that stays in Langa. You know what, bro? Can I come chill with you, right? Just stay with you and see what life or what is going to happen right now. So that's where my love for coding basically like began in Langa. Kwakitere NPC, I'll never forget that institution because it kind of like, you know, started everything. It kind of like built the foundation. It kind of like showed me the amount of, um, of power, or to put it that way, that coding has in today's society, right? Because everything, we're now entering the fourth industrial revolution. And if you know how to code, you are you have the power in your hands because you can do anything. You can create an application, create a website, because everything nowadays revolves around technology, right? There are companies such as like Samsung that are playing a huge role in trying to develop young students or young pupils from outside of the campus in bringing them into one platform, right? Where they can be innovative, come up with ideas, that uh, will tackle socio-economic issues, socio-economic challenges, and be able to like combat what we face as people out there, right? And with the use of technology right now, there are companies that have the power to like reach out to people, right? And I was fortunate enough to be seen or be chosen by such a huge company like Samsung that is basically like making a difference out there because like the EIP program right now that they launched um, is a huge program that is gonna basically make a difference, a huge difference in South Africa. And as much as they made a difference in me in upskilling me and making sure that I get to be at the right places at the right time and to learn more about coding what I love. So to the future innovators and to the future 
programmers that are gonna be part of this program, <laughs> you guys are gonna be very, very, very fortunate because, because you guys are gonna be equipped with a very, very great skill. And I can't wait for you guys to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>